Goodness can be found in encouraging greatness at the Junior Runners Academy in Soweto. Pick and pay, always there for you. Welcome back as we race towards the finish line. Right, here's the challenge. I want you to tell me as much as you possibly can about garlic in two minutes. Go okay, ready, set, go. Okay. go. So this is our normal um, European garlic, also known as Italian garlic. Hello, hello. You know it very well, right? This is the one we usually buy at the supermarket whenever we're looking for garlic, right? This is elephant garlic or giant garlic. As you can see... Stop intimidating the, the other garlic. <laughs> the cloves are like considerably larger than regular oh, okay, garlic. No, so this is, this right is much easier to peel and it's also got a milder flavor. Mm, that's often the case, like chilies as well. The bigger it is, the milder, more sugar exactly. comes in, yeah. Um, th these are garlic chives. These are really good for dressings and things like that, where you want a little hit of garlic, but you don't want excessive garlic. Yeah. So you can actually just chew, chew on these and use them in, in, in place of chives just to add like a little more flavor. Cool. This recently discovered um, actually, I don't even think it's 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 sold. Um, a guy in Tan William, I think, actually made his own breed. I'm calling it an onion garlic because to me it looks like an onion. Yeah. Um, it's just it's like a, one huge bulb. I just want to cut it so you can see. Can you see? Go. It's like wow. one huge bulb of garlic. Whoa. Look and at it that. And it's, strong, it's, 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 yeah. There's a lot of onion in there as well. It's very, very a little sad actually. <laughs> um, Wow. It smells oh, slightly, is... slightly oniony yeah, as well. Yeah, no, you definitely pick it up. Yeah. Okay, Delicious, so this man. is a very interesting one. What's this it is... called? Do you know? Sorry, I'm not putting it no, on the I'm spot. No, I'm calling it the onion garlic because onion it, garlic. it's his own little thing that he did for garlic himself. Garlic al so... onione. Cool. So, but that's very cool for, for peeling. I mean, it peels as easy as an onion and yeah, that's oh, packs excellent for yeah. Mm. So this is black garlic. It's essentially fermented. So you Ooh. can see the cloves are, are black and sticky. Oh, wow. Um, and the flavor is sort of like balsamic and molasses. See, so this, it's gone. People don't realize garlic it's gone actually is the, Smell that. the highest sugar content of any fruit. It's, it kicks the butt of any other plant out there in terms it, of uh, sugar content. So you can understand how it'll caramelize like that. Yeah, it. and it mm. doesn't actually taste very garlicky. You can actually use that in desserts. So maybe, wow. I don't know, try like a chocolate fondant and put some of that garlic in there and see. Ooh, see what you come up with. I like that. Okay, so, okay. so I just want to show you some, some tips on peeling garlic. I was so going to ask. The yeah. regular garlic, of course, you know, this is how I do it. I just take a knife and I Bam. smash, and then it's easy to as frustrated as, 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 as I, I need am, an yeah. outlet. You can get these nifty little garlic peelers. You put the clove inside and then you sort of just roll it. Roll oh it, roll word. it. Using and then the garlic gets peeled. Friction. Look at that. That is amazing. And then also the never fail um, garlic press. You can actually put the garlic in without peeling it. And then here, use your muscles. Oil. Use your muscles. Just soya. Look at that. Where can I put this? Just on the board would be good. Oh, and then yay. see, you get, you get the garlic flesh, oh. but you don't get the skin. Very nice. And then you, you know, take take out the papery skin. Awesome, awesome, if awesome. If you do one more thing, if you do have a lot of garlic to peel and you need the cloves to stay whole, pour some boiling water over the separated cloves and then the skins just slip off. They just, oh, you blanch them. Blanch, blanch them right them. off there. Oh, this has inspired me. Well, we've been cooking with so much garlic today. Um, maybe we should uh, soften our, our palate a little bit and get back into our cheese fondue. Hilary Villa made a delicious cheese fondue a little bit earlier. Let's do a quick recap.